Hello, Master Gary Hernandez here. I'm going to start showcasing and doing some small reviews on different self-defense tools or self-defense weapons, however you like to prefer to call it. Um, I did one recently on a Taser, and I've got so many different kinds, so I thought I'd show them. Some I like, some I don't, some are gifts, some I bought, some I train with, some not so much. But I want to just kind of put it out there for people to understand there's different ways that you can protect yourself. You know, obviously, gunning is one of the best self-defense tools to have. So if you have a concealed permit, you have your gun, that's fantastic, carry that. But there are people out there that don't have their concealed weapons permits, and there's some people that don't want to carry a gun. Um, I'm a big, firm believer in being able to carry a gun, trust me. And I would use my gun over my hands and feet if I could, if I'm being attacked. But with that said, there's other different tools you can use. So if I'm not going to use my gun, you know, I also have my knife, and everybody knows I carry a knife. But I'm going to start showing different kinds. I showed a taser, like I said, um, about a week ago. Or, but I wanted to show some different ones as we're getting into this. And I'll try to put a couple of them out there, you know, bit by bit. Some of them you're going to like, some of them you're not going to like. A lot you've heard of, a lot you may not have heard of. So I'm going to show different ones. I'm going to start off with the one that no one really does a lot of talking about for various reasons. And it's called the monkey fist. Okay. So in a nutshell, what it is, is basically it comes either with a marble or a um, metal ball. And it's wrapped in paracord. And they usually wrap it in 550 paracord. And they can have it on a keychain. They can have this one here is kind of like on just a small lanyard style. And what it is is you've got that ball way at the end, whether it's a marble or whether it's a um, ball bearing. And you can simply whack somebody. It's kind of hard to see it because I'm moving it fast. But you can whack somebody right upside the head. If they're reaching for you, you can come down on their knuckles, bust their knuckle bust them in the head, bust them in the elbow. It's you know a pretty solid, hard object that's wrapped up. Now, the, um, the difference between the marble and the, the ball bearing, you know, not a lot, except for the marble isn't going to register on a metal detector. Um, ball bearing is, because it's metal, so it's going to, you know, that one you're gonna, they're going to catch in all the, I wouldn't suggest taking either of them on a plane. They're going to take them away from because they know what they are. But it's just another small tool to have. You can put your, put them with, some people carry them on their keychains. Like I said, a lot of people don't talk about it much. So, and I happen to have one. I've had it for a long time. So I'm gonna start showing, showcasing different ones of weapons. And basically you can make it yourself. You go to, you know, ball bearing, if you know how to wrap the paracord, do cobra weaves, whatever you want to call it. And you just put it on there. You can, again, hook your keys, hook it to whatever you want. This one, I keep it a finger loop so I can smack with it and hit. And again, you can't see that because, believe it or not, it, moved, it with the black, it moves very quickly. So it's, it's a nice tool to have. You know, so like I said, someone reaches for you, you just bust them right upside the knuckles, hit them up. I don't care who they are. You hit somebody with a ball bearing or a hard marble on the head, you're going to cause an injury. It's going to hurt. It's like hitting them with a rock. Now I've seen these are can come in different sizes. You can get bigger marbles, bigger ball bearings. I've seen somebody take a cue ball from billiards and make a giant monkey fist out of a cue ball. That's a large, large thing to carry around, but I've seen it. Going that big, I don't think I would do. To me, that's kind of a, a waste. The smaller one moves a lot faster, obviously easier to conceal. I can keep it in my hands and then just smack with it real quick. They're not going to see it coming because it's dark. When it hits, it's going to hurt. And like I said, just call them monkey fists. You can find these reasonably cheap. If you wanted to buy one, they sell them on eBay. Let people make them all the time and sell them. Um, you can actually make them yourself. And that's, you know, have fun. Try to make one yourself. And it's just a, it's a cool little thing to have. Um, fits in your pocket easily. Like I said, I wouldn't carry it on a plane or take it somewhere where they're going to take it away from you. But it's just a nice little thing to have and smack somebody upside the head if necessary. So just to show you, 
So that's kind of showcasing this little guy right here. And I'll be showing some other different kinds of self-defense tools that you can carry and use. Again, Gary Hernandez, and thank you.